Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today I want to talk about something that's not super glitzy. It has to do with terminal tackle and more importantly, a couple of different snaps that I truly love and they are non-traditional and I'm going to tell you why I think you should use them and where you should use them. Uh, you know, guys, terminal tackle is something that gets it, it just is totally underappreciated in my opinion, but the truth is it's kind of the backbone of your fishing success. Terminal equipment is your hooks, your weights, uh, your line, your snaps, your swivels, split rings, anything that is kind of your, your equipment that's not the bait. You know, these are the things that connects your bait to your line. And because of that, they're really important because if you have the wrong terminal tackle, you may lose the biggest fish of the day. You may break off. You may have baits breaking. You may They may jump your baits off better because you're not throwing the right split rings. Things like that are truly important in terms of your success. If you're using the right stuff, you improve not only your, your baits performance, your hookup ratio will go up, your landing percentage will go up. Terminal equipment is really important. And these snaps are some of my favorites and I wanna go over them with you because I get a lot of questions from you guys about snaps. Uh, and before I do get into the snaps, I do wanna remind you guys, I just started doing one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons through fishthemoment.com. It's a great way to have direct access through me through a Zoom call where we can break down techniques. We can go over your home lake and pull up a map and talk about it. Whatever it is that you guys wanna talk about, we can do that. So check those out. The link will be in the video description. And if you wanna talk about snaps, we can talk about snaps. So let's get into this. I've got three here that I wanna talk about. The first is called an Aquatech O Invisa Swivel, guys. This is probably a tough one to see. This is a plastic material or heavy fluorocarbon material. I'm not even sure what it is, but there's several things I love about this. First, it's, it's more of like a center pin system versus a ball bearing, and it spins ex extremely freely, more than any bearing that I know. Uh, because of that, I feel really good about using it, say, on drop shots or flukes, where, where you get a lot of line twist. It really helps reduce that. The obvious is it's clear, so it blends in in the water better than any metal swivel will. But on top of that, the other things that I like about it are that it's it's bendable, so it's not, like, rigid. So because of that, I don't, I don't have any concern bringing this through the guides. Not that I necessarily want to reel it through my guides on the rod, but I'm not concerned at all about chipping the ceramic insert that's within the guides on the rod. And last but not least, it also comes in multiple sizes, and it's got, and I don't think there's any way I can show this to you, but it's got a little center pin, so when you tie your knot, the knot sits down inside of two, like, little arms and protects the knot. So it's a really good swivel for, you know, your drop shots, anything where you get a lot of line twist, it's a good swivel to go with. And it's, in my opinion, it's better than most traditional swivels. And it's something that's a little bit different. I love the fact that it's pliable. I love the fact that it spins so freely and that it's invisible in the water. So you might want to check these out. It's the Aquateco uh, Invisa Swivel. I'll put all of the links to these up in the video. Uh, description, but I'm actually not even sure if they sell a couple of these at Tackle Warehouse, so uh, you may have to do a little digging on your own part. If they're there, I'll put them up for you. Next up is another one that I love. This has to do with uh, Aaron Martins a while back was really big into promoting these. This is the No Knot Fast Snap. So what this is, is just a tiny little snap. So you tie this onto your line, and this is the large size. This is only an eighth inch long, but this is the large size. Uh, so it comes in a several different sizes. So the whole key here is this makes changing baits so easy. So in this case, let's say if I had a crankbait on, I pop it out and I wanna put this little swim, uh, swim bait on. At that point, I'll just take the eye of it, slide it down and snap it right into place. And there you go, it's on. So like for people that have a hard time tying knots, or are changing lures constantly because maybe you're a bank fisherman or you're a co-angler and you just can't carry many rods, this is so much more efficient than tying knots. And I've never had any issue with them failing or opening up where I lose a fish. You know, like I said, this goes back to the late great Aaron Martins, who was a huge proponent of using these because he loved to switch baits so frequently and it made him that much more efficient on the water during tournaments. 
And because of that, I've started using them. I love them. They come in three different sizes uh, and they're just super easy to use. My dad loves these as well because he's got a hard time tying knots on the water. So it allows him to change baits really quickly. I love them because I'm that much more efficient on the water during tournaments. And for me, every second counts because by the end of the day, if I've saved two minutes of time, I can make a couple extra casts, which is a huge deal. The last one is I've really gone to using uh, egg shaped snaps. These are the decoy egg snap. Uh, so a closer look, if I can show it to you, you'll see the bottom, the bottom widens out from the top. So you tie your line onto the top, it widens out at the bottom. And because of that, that extra width at the bottom, you get some additional uh, free movement out of your bait. So whether you're throwing a chatter bait or you're throwing a crank bait, it, add, it allows the bait to move more freely is what it comes down to. At the same time, because it's a wider opening, if you have a fish on, it takes away some of that added leverage that a fish can get when they twist and roll with the bait because it's a bigger opening. So I think you lose less fish and I think you get better hookups. Again, because it's a snap, it makes changing baits very easy, uh, which is something that I really like to do. You know, if I'm out practicing, I'm changing baits all the time, but I don't feel like this affects your action at all. It's basically like using a loop knot with your bait. So your crank baits, your wake baits, um, lipless crank baits, vibrating baits, or vib you know, vibrating jigs, anything like that, a snap is really a, a good thing to use because it helps your bait work to its top performance and therefore it leads to some extra bites. So these are three types of snaps that I love and that I use every time I'm out on the water. They make me more efficient and they increase my landing percentage on the water, which is a huge deal for me because any lost fish could potentially cost me a lot of money. So check these out guys. I'll put the link in the video description. These are more non-traditional snaps, but we're starting to see this with an improvement in all terminal tackle across the board. We're starting to see a lot of emphasis go into improving terminal tackle. And these are three pieces that have really stepped it up and are helping me catch more fish on the water. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, we'll have another video coming out tomorrow.